Actually, you know what? The last time I think I saw you was I was headlining the mix. So it was years after that, mm -hmm. and you were there. There was the, like one UFC event in Vancouver, and ah, you were there with Joe, probably. Yes, yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember there was a dude. There was like some weird. There was like a crazy guy in the front. It was I, he went on. I was like, yeah, I'll go before uh, Joe Rogan, please. And so he 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 closed the show, and there was this insane guy in the front, and he like was arguing with uh, Rogan and then like motion that he was going to like headbutt him or something like that. And then the doorman dragged him out. Do you remember this at all? As he was picking the guy up out of his seat, the guy grabbed the table. So all the bottles flew and all that shit. And then like we hung out afterwards. It's like an hour and a half later. I'm like leaving to go home, walk back to my parents' place. I'm walking up the stairs and I see the guy and he's like coming towards me. And I'm like, Fuck, why am I by myself? Oh, His my neck God. is all red from being removed from the club. And I open the door and I'm like, oh shit. And he goes, hey man, great set. And I'm like, oh Jesus, oh, okay, yeah. God. But he was all red. Do you know what I remember from that place? There was a, okay, you guys will have to bleep this. But there was a, a there who loved me. And like, when I would come there, the this dude was like a puppy. To, like he was like, he was like, hey Tom, like what do you need? You know, and I would always just be like, oh, you know, just have my back if I need it. Yeah. You know? And he loved if I needed his help. He loved if I needed his help. And um, so one time, you know, somebody is, you know, just ruining the show. Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up, man. And it's like back and forth. And so finally, you know, you kind of go back and forth in those things. And then there's those moments where you're like, you got to go. Yeah. Right? So I see that dude come in. And he he actually removed. He's a big guy. A, he's a like a a wide built, strong dude. Yeah, I know the. I and, know. And he he picks him up by his head. Like he puts his arm around the guy's head and he lifts him out of the chair by his head. So oh he, my gosh. He, he he head cranks him like hard as fuck. Jeez. And drags him out by his head. And I I remember even being like, holy shit, right? Like he drags him out that way, and I was like. <laughs> Afterwards, I was like, how'd that go? He was like, oh, yeah, I got him out. I'm like, yeah, it looked like it. I'm like, I don't know if that guy's going to be able to walk anymore. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't play the club for like a cycle, you know, like a year or something. And I come back and I'm in the lobby and I'm like, what's this here? And I notice that there's missing carpet. No. And they're like, oh, no. oh you know that dude? And I go, yeah. And they're like. He took some guy, he dragged some guy out, and he beat him here. And the blood soaked into the <gasps> carpet here. We had to cut the carpet out. And I was like, what? Dang. And they're like, yeah, we had to. Yeah. Yeah. We had to, he was suspended we had for a let, weekend. We had to let him go. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, and like, people wonder why there are no more women in comedy. <laughs> and mean, it's because of shit like that. Like, Tom and I were at, we were at a really big show like a week ago. And even at like a huge venue, there's like drunk people. It was a totally people I haven't been to a show in forever. Out. Like, we what the who. fuck is wrong with you? I know, I just, it was a Chris Rock show. Yeah. And we were like, oh my God, like even at like a nice I venue. I've been to, been in the audience <laughs> in forever, like where I go to watch yeah. a comic. Yeah. And we're sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> like, and you're like, what the fuck are you screaming? I mean, at? just continuous. And then I actually, because you know a lot of times on stage you go, well, that person <laughs> is ruining the show for the people around them. Yeah. Dude, you see the people go, can you guys knock it off? Like they're, they, they keep doing it. Like, and then they get up and they go get security, the sober people and go, I can't fucking hear the show. Then they get removed. Police come. Whoa. It's a yeah. whole thing, man. Wow. Just, just drunk. Just for these drunk fuck. Then and that's Chris Rock. That's at like the highest the level. Highest show. You, level. Is it sixty years you need to be to get respect? Like it's insane. How it's, long do you have to be? It's crazy. And people pay a premium. This is a nice venue. Yeah. This isn't like the Chuckle Hut. Then and, fucking the, and then the people sitting next to that's us. What I'm saying like they start. They just do this thing where he hits a topic <laughs> that they agree with him. They're just excited. They're just to excited hear about. about. So every. Eight seconds as he's doing so, he's doing the bit. You know, he makes his statement. Now it's like joke, joke, joke. Yeah, tell him. Or, yeah, yes. And you're like, 
for what? boo. Uh, yeah. No, I don't agree with that. Like, no one cares what you, you agree you? with or what you don't. No one cares what I, you have to say. I never had this perspective. <laughs> it's wild. Like it's it, and it made you go like, because I've always thought thought this that like the worst thing in the world that what ruins every show is just booze. Yeah, booze yeah. ruins Too every much. fucking. Yeah. fucking and it, these people are just fucking shit. Well, how do we deal with these maniacs? Like, but you can tell when they're that ripped going in. I can yeah. tell. My new rule is: if you heckle me before the mic comes out of the stand, you're gone. Yeah, because mm. you're going to be a nightmare. I've learned yeah. that over the years. And I did that two weeks ago. I was in San Diego, and I walked on stage. I didn't take the mic out, and a guy yells, "Lame." I hadn't even, the music is dying out. Lame. And I go, I go, you got to leave, man. Like, but the mic wasn't, the mic was still in the stand. I'm yeah. like, he's got to go. Done. So they kick him out. And uh, then they leave his, his <sighs> girlfriend or wife, who now is a little bitter towards me. Sure. And she, she starts yelling, he was only joking. Oh God. You got to go too. Got to go. Yeah. Bang. Go. Gone. Yeah. yeah. Gone. With, the mic's not even out. I've and had that, two crazy ones in the last month. Oh, yeah? In the last month. One was, we have the video of the guy being thrown out. It was in, it was in Canada, the first one. Where? It was in London. Oh, okay. Uh, it was the late show. So we did two shows there. And we could tell because when the opener's on, you're like, oh, this, this is... There's somebody, this guy keeps yelling, yelling. They're trying to find where he is because it's just like theater event. And they're like, we don't know where he is. And so my tour manager has a good idea. He goes, you know what I'm going to do? He goes, when you go on stage, they turn on the house lights. He goes, I'm going to leave the house lights on for like five more seconds just because I know he's going to pop off. <laughs> <laughs> good instinct. It was good instinct. And so when I walk out, lights come on, wave, you know, grab the mic. And as he fucking ah and they go that's where he is <laughs> so they they start going over there now i'm not even paying attention to him right i mean i, I have to God. i have to say something because he says something again so i'm just you know i forget what i say yeah i just kind of jab him back but it's like playful yeah and then i keep going the show and he does something again so i just make another comment about how much fucking attention do you need yeah you know? and then like chaos, like chaos starts. Whoa. And um, and then he, he's screaming something, and then somebody go, from that area goes, you're throwing out the wrong guy. Mm. And I go, oh, no. I, I go, I'm not throwing anybody out. Like, that, it's, there's literally a wall of security up there. Yeah. I'm like, you, you have to deal with them. Yeah. This is not on me now. Guy keeps screaming. Well, my guys end up recording them throwing this guy out right he's throwing a fucking tantrum and what he's mad about is that the guy who was causing the big disturbance was another guy's brother and they ended up throwing them both out and the one guy's like he's a good guy he keeps saying he and we, we think that he's talking about himself like, yeah was he referring to himself <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. as he yeah. nah. and he's like no he goes he's a good guy you're throwing him he's a, he's not a bad guy you're, you're throwing out a nice guy and we're like dude he's ruining the show yeah for everybody i mean it's just it just happens to the point and it just makes you i don't know after a while you're just like the fuck do you have to do up here just shut the fuck shut up the fu and, and it's not he's a nice guy. whatever he's Who not cares? in a place where he can sit and watch comedy he can't so then this is not for him tonight. Yeah. Thank you for watching that highlight here from YMH Studios. That was a highlight or a clip, whichever word you prefer. You watched it, and there are so many more. Little bite-sized episode things. They're, in, they're Just click them. Maybe it's someone screaming or bleeding. Maybe it's just laughing at someone, making fun of them. <laughs>